name's Jessica and I work for Berkshire Youth and we are currently at the Waterside Centre where we are delivering the HAF programme. This afternoon, which is currently happening around me, is the Youth Club programme which is for our secondary young people. We have a mixture of activities today. We have um, a singing workshop, we have paddling going on and again the sports, arts and crafts, dancing, games, anything that they like to do. We've done half a few times now um, and actually really helped us in the summer of 2021 um, when we reopened the doors of this building after refurbishing it and half was the funding which allowed us to actually run our very first holiday club. Um, it's been really good, it's good that young people can access food as well as activity because I think that's quite important, um, especially for the holidays it can be a long time. Um, with yeah, not a lot of money at home. So do you guys listen to music at home? Yes. yes. Do you have it on as like background music or do you kind of sit and listen to it because you're enjoying the song? Like how do you engage with it? I had it on as background music while I was um, just playing around. Yeah. Just like, it's a vibe too. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so it gives you kind of a different energy, a different feeling about things. I'm Kat and I'm the founder of a charity called Vox Thrive which is all about helping young people's mental health and well-being through music. When Berkshire Youth approached me and said could you come and help out in our holiday programme and run some activities I said yeah. It's all kids from every kind of background there's no especially with when you're engaging in uh, music you quite often get people who are trying to learn an instrument and they they can be from more privileged backgrounds or people with a level of kind of disposable income at the half program you literally just get any young person and um, there's not that kind of differentiation at all this afternoon we had five um young lads that came in um kind of not reluctantly but not quite knowing what the deal was or what to expect um, and by the end of the session four out of the five had sung solo with a microphone. Um, so yeah, it's just that kind of confidence building process. We want to engage with as many young people in the area as we can and to kind of remind them that music's a really helpful thing for them to utilise. It gets us out there working with the kids and spreading the music love. So today we've got paddling activities as part of our HAF programme. Now that's a big part of the Waterside Centre here in Newbury because it is so much about um, our legacy as an outdoor adventure centre as well as a youth centre and it is a huge part of our youth programme throughout the summer term. So as you can see behind us we've got canoes, we've got kayaks, we've got paddle boards and basically we just encourage young people to try something new. Um, experience the water, be out in nature, be outside um, and as you can hear from, from the group behind me they absolutely love it. It's something different that a lot of them wouldn't get to access if we weren't here um, and so it is really important for us to include it within our secondary school programme. I'm Eloise and I'm a young leader here at Waterside Centre which means I will be volunteering with things such as HAF and other events that go on at Waterside and just generally being a role model to the younger people and showing them what to do and helping them, like with paddling or climbing. I first came here to do the climbing and paddling and then I got invited to volunteer and I just really enjoyed it. It got me talking to new people and I was really shy back then. I would never have been interviewed before, but now I'm way more confident and happy talking to new people and it's just changed my life. Uh, we've been kayaking and paddleboarding and um, it just feels very free and fun. My name's Dylan. My name's Trent. And we've been doing canoeing. Yep. And it's cold. Oh, paddleboarding. <laughs> paddleboarding, and it's really cold. Yeah, if you fall out and then... <laughs> fall in. <laughs> yeah, fall in again. It's really cold. Yeah, it's really cold. It's our first it's time It's our today. first time today as well. Tomorrow we're going to come in and hopefully do this again. Yep. Which fall in fun. back again. Which will and get even more cold. <laughs> Which will be fun. Yep. I'm Tyler. I'm Dion. Um, we're playing pool at the minute. Yeah. Football's best. Yeah, play with new people. Yeah, and it's like... Work together. Yeah. It improves confidence, so, so it's like, you like help others, like, improve. Hello, hiya, my name's Ken Hines. I am working, I'm a youth worker here at Berkshire Youth Waterside Centre. I think half is uh, very important um, to young people and to families in general. Um, to give the young people an opportunity to get out and do activities that they might not be able to find affordable elsewhere. I've got young children myself, uh, teenagers, and I can understand the importance of having these type of facilities. 